Hi, how are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm excellent. Uh, so was very excited when the show was getting all the cast announced to see that you were in the cast as a huge fan of Lovecraft Country. It's nice to see that you get to play two consecutive badasses in a row. <laughs> So they're different characters, but there's a strength to both of them. What did you channel in playing the character in this series? Um, you know, it's that um, she's someone who's not afraid to take up space and she's not, she doesn't try to um, change in order to make someone like her or make things sound easier or nicer or appease or placate. It's just, she's just very very honest about who she is what she wants and how she's going to get there and so it's quite um it's quite nice as you know as a woman who you know sometimes i find myself trying to be nice all the time and and accommodating all the time it was nice just to be like mm -mm, this is how it's going to be and and, and that there's no shame in it and in, in demanding and uh, what you need and and how you people will treat and respect you and and then also exploring your physical power because that's again something that I've never really been able to do um, and I am I am pretty strong and it was great feeling being able to like feel that and explore that and really push it. And in the first appearance, you're going up against Loki. And in that scene, you're expecting it to go one way, but it goes a completely other. So it's really fun seeing that the rules that were there before in this universe, you're kind of turning the tables a little bit. Going into this with these established characters and playing kind of a, a new creation, how much of the character were you able to kind of come up with on your own versus what was already created on the page for you? I mean, what was on the page was on the page. There's nothing I can change about that, but you can get a sense of who she is, her like, um, her sense of humor or like, I guess kind of lack of, but it comes across as kind of funny and dry and um, uh, very serious. Um, so it's all written, I, you, everything, er, all an actor can do is really take what's on the page and then let it live, live and breathe within me. And then doing like the stunt training and the drill training for the TVA, that added another element to my character because this is how she moves now. This is, this is, what, we, this is what we do. This is the training that we have. So um, it felt, it definitely is a blank, blank slate in one respect, but you are confi confined to the script and, um, and what the movement people um, have coordinated for our physical uh, vocabulary too. And then, yeah, then you can just, you can just play and, and let her breathe inside of you, you know what I mean? It looks like it's a lot of fun, as serious as some of the scenes are, and you know, it's gotta be exhausting doing these action sequences and going up against all of these other characters and these intricate sequences, but was it a lot of fun to be behind the scenes involving ever all these other actors? Oh, it was so much fun. Honestly, we have just the best cast and crew. We just smiled our way through the whole show. Um, and especially with like a pandemic, like we relied on each other um, in a way that um, I, I just wasn't, I wasn't anticipating and was so grateful that I had such, we had such a great cast and crew. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a joyful set. It was actually. Having only seen the first couple of episodes of the series, and I know that there's a lot more coming, there's that you can't really tell us anything that's coming down the line, but were there anything, was there any elements in the story that you were really excited to do, something that you had not done before? I was definitely excited to do the stunts. I think like that's something that I've never done before. And um, I definitely was scared of them as well. I haven't like I'm a little bit clumsy and um, I have made a mistake in, in drama school and 
punched my best friend in in stunt training and <laughs> since then i've always been very very scared of them so i was very excited about like getting to a point where i felt proficient and capable and um yeah and that i wasn't going to put anyone in danger <laughs> And I didn't, I didn't hurt anyone. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> um, from the work that you did in, on Lovecraft Country versus here, they're both very genre heavy. There's a lot of special effects, a lot of things that are going on. Is there anything that you have to approach differently doing a series with that much versus something that's much more grounded in reality? Yeah, there's a huge difference in like the time that you have. Um, like you have to uh, accommodate a lot of time for special effects, visual effects, um, you know, uh, a any kind of like stunt work that's going to be take a lot of time, any kind of um, like, I don't know, like with Lovecraft with the gunk and stuff like that just took time to put it on and the um, prosthetics and stuff like that. Um, this is that's a huge difference um and then like you know like practically if you're doing a scene say in in, in loki and you have to do the same thing over and over again because of like camera work or whatever um and having to hit things at exactly the right point and because of i don't know if something's going to be put on top of it or whatever there is like a technical side that is it's quite um you really have to think about it but then and also still act through it you know um so yeah yeah well it looks fantastic i love the first two episodes i can't wait to see the rest and i hope to see you kicking more ass in the final four episodes so thank you very much for your time thank you thanks bye